Society is out to kill the artist, and media is out to kill art. There's not much of a punk scene in New York anymore, is what I heard. Uh, there's not really much of a punk scene anywhere. Planet X Records started in 1994. We've been doing the exact same thing since day one, except we moved to CDs instead of shitty tapes. Planet X Records puts out like most of my favorite bands. Chris has an excellent ear and like I love the fucking records he puts out. If it's not cheap, it's not punk. Preach on, brother. Preach on. and we're just like, okay, you know, Fest are a horrible idea, but what if, you know, what if we got all the Planet X bands to play in Bloomington once? You know, this summer, Planet X is going to have workshops. It's going to be a full week of activities. It's like summer it's camp. Fun. Like, you make yeah, these connections instead of oh, this, like... Oh, this is totally like, punk rock like, summer camp. It's a folk music. It's made, you know, by the people who listen to it. Not just, like, playing in a punk band, but, like, having a really funny, cool puppet show or things like that. Punk rock is exciting because it's a place where people actually come together off the internet, you know, in real time, in real space. And it's a space in which people are encouraged to organize collectively together. Yeah, I always hope that it's not really about the music, it's more about the people playing the music. Togetherness and willingness to work towards the same goals and to just be really genuine and interested in individuals. Let's say you're a 44-year-old punk or you know, like, you're transgendered or you're, you know, whatever it is that mainstream America might find odd, we've created this community that embraces it and lifts it up. I'm not fucking crazy for thinking that the world is a really fucked up place and something needs to change on a very fundamental level. Our hosts would, are requesting that if you, or if you want to, if you wouldn't mind coming closer, they feel a little intimidated, I think. Thanks for coming to Bloomington for Planet X Fest, and I see that you're all here. It's really, really difficult to organize a weird summer camp thing, we found out. Rhinos and Midwest Pages Prisoners and, and The Hub are all really benefiting. The first year at the fest we made $6,000 for those two groups, so, and I think we're going to do better than that this year. Chris Craven, who runs Planet X, is the Tom Sawyer of DIY Punk. I have crazy ideas and I can't really do them by myself, so I really appreciate the help. And I actually just got an open heart surgery. I mean, I'm 60 years old, yeah. you know, and it's great. I, I just love the energy. Uh, social change almost always comes through the, uh, the energy that, uh, that young people have because they're not beat down by the repeated failures that, that come about by hitting your head against those, those structures all the time. I've, I've never been so like, immersed into a punk community. Like, I'm immersed kind of into this community. I've probably eaten here better than I have like, when I'm back home. Even before we got to Pig's yeah. Fest, we had already planned to come back next year. Can't wait to see this bikes of pot pump. I love making new friends. <laughs> yeah. Impressions of the fest. <laughs> <laughs> that's, our, that's a good impression. I don't know, it's made me realize that I'm just a little more sour than I should be. 